It has been a while since we talked about Mike Lindell, so let's do an update for this holiday season. He's been promoting the pro J6er film Let My People Go, which includes scenes from the corner protest. He's also been promoting a film called State of Denial Arizona, which from a quick look appears to be pushing 2020 election denial. Now you might say, I haven't heard of either of those films, and that's not shocking. It really feels like they haven't had that oomph that a lot of MAGA documentary film stories have had lately. I think maybe the MAGA people are just kind of bored with them. They get them all the time, making all sorts of crazy claims, and then nothing happens. Now, Mike continues to push it was actually better that Trump lost in 2020 because it exposed machines. Even in the MAGA world, this isn't popular, but I assume his money's too good to not have him invited to events to say this. He speaks about his summit this year fondly, but to me, it was the biggest letdown summit of his yet. The plan wasn't good. It wasn't entertaining. It just was kind of bad. I mean, sure, you got a joke about the fact they're wanting to strap a device to a drone and thinking they could get away with doing that, but other than that, it was kind of meh. I see reports that MyPillow continues to have money problems and articles that his products are getting bad reviews. Of course, all of this is going on while he has to deal with the Dominion lawsuit. And that's what the document behind me is actually about. As you can see here, uh, in this appeal, Lindell and MyPillow challenged the district court's affirmation of a magistrate judge's order quashing the Kent County subpoena and requiring them to pay Kent County's attorney fees and costs because the district court did not abuse its discretion, we affirm. So basically, they were trying to have these counties provide all of this evidence to Mike Lindell and MyPillow, and it got stopped, and then they tried to appeal that, and if we go all the way to the bottom, all the way through, it gets very clear at the conclusion where they say they've affirmed the district court's order, which is basically you don't get what you're asking for, and you have to pay the county's lawyer fees. So, not a great time for Mike Lindell this holiday.